Hey, everybody, this is John from Fluid, and I am really excited to uh, bring you a new update to the app that we've been working on. Um, so let me go ahead and open settings and just show you. So you can see here we are in version 26. Uh, so this is going live today. So uh, yeah, go grab it on uh, on Quest. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go through some small stuff first, and then we're gonna get into the big news. So uh, a couple small things: we added tooltips to the dock, so you can see what apps uh, you're hovering over. It's really useful if you have uh, apps with the same icon, or you just forget what what an app actually is. Um, and then we also added, if you go into keyboard, we have new languages. So for example, we have Spanish here. Um, and if I open a new window, let me bring it up here. So I'm using a physical keyboard. Uh, these layouts are for physical Bluetooth keyboards. We do have a virtual keyboard right here. Uh, you can see that here. Uh, the layout doesn't change on this right now. We will eventually add this uh, pretty soon, but uh, for now we're focusing on physical keyboard support because it's a really, really good way to enter text in VR. Um, so if I type, for example, this character, I can add an accented E. Um, I can also do like the upside down exclamation point, that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, this is this is physical keyboards are awesome. You should absolutely try Fluid with it if you haven't. Um, if you're not using a keyboard though, you might want to use flow typing. So I'm just going to, I'm using a hand tracking. I'm just going to pinch into this text box, pinch and hold, and whatever I say will appear there. And that would have taken me forever to type on a virtual keyboard. Uh, and I can undo and, and remove it. Um, but yeah, so flow typing and physical keyboards are the way. So you should definitely try that if you haven't. Uh, okay, so got through the small stuff really quick. Uh, there's one more thing. Um, so I'm going to just rotate this window by holding shift on my keyboard while I rotate uh, the mouse. And I'm going to place it there. So you can see now we our windows, they have a back. But if I wanted to move it from behind, I can still do that. And then I can also now close this from behind. Um, that was a suggestion from somebody on, I think it was Reddit. So appreciate your suggestions. We added it to the app for you. Those are great ideas. Um, so if you have feedback for us, uh, please let us know, and uh, we'd love to to integrate that into into the app. Okay, time for the big reveal. So the main new feature we added in version 0.26, I'm going to open a tab here, and another one, 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 and another one. So we increased the tab limit really uh, significantly. Um, it, before it was five, I think, on Quest 3, and then on Quest 2 is a 3, maybe. So we've actually increased this to more than 10 for Quest 3, and uh, I think more than 6, or maybe more than 5 for Quest 2. So yeah, uh, really excited for you all to give this a try and uh, give us your feedback on this new version. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.